Hey, hey, and welcome to another Tech Tuesday. This is Chad from Essential Worship. This week, we're going to show you how to find the delay time needed to sync your audio and video in OBS. So if you're like me and trying to figure out the best ways to stream for free, uh, you might be using a program called OBS. OBS is free and it's actually pretty amazingly powerful. I'm actually recording most of this video in OBS right now with the little overlays and everything that are happening um, just to try and make things go a little bit faster. Um, now, one of the problems that you might run into is if you are sending in your audio in some way that's other than your camera, you might find that your audio and your video are going to be out of sync slightly. Um, so like right now, what we're hearing is uh, my audio is coming from a mixer into my computer, and then the video is coming from my camera and a few different places like that. Um, so to give you a really practical example, uh, we've got a church that we were helping recently that their video was coming from a uh, PCZ camera that was hooked up through an Ethernet cable into their computer, but their audio was coming straight from their mixer into a USB port into their computer, and, uh, and it was not in sync. Um, so I'm going to show you what we did to fix that. We're using a free-to-try DAW called Reaper. Uh, and it's very, very easy to use. It'll work on Mac or PC for the purposes that we have today. So first off, what you want to do is you want to have a test recording that you can work with. Uh, I'm going to show you how to set that up with the right file format. And also, you're going to make sure that there's no delay times already set. So here we are in OBS. Uh, again, I am recording while doing this in OBS. That's why we see this really trippy uh, screen that's going on up here. Um, so the first thing we need to do is down in the right-hand corner of your screen, you need to go to your settings options. And we are going to change the settings for our recording. So that's under output. And this is all grayed out for me right now because I actually am recording. But your recording format defaults to something like MKV. Uh, not every program can read that properly, so just go ahead and change that to MP4 and then hit OK. Next, we need to make sure that there's no delay times already set. Again, if you're brand new to OBS, you don't need to worry about this, but for me, um, I'm going to show you how to, how to fix this. So over in your audio mixer window, you can click on any one of these little cogwheels, go to your advanced audio properties, and you'll get this little mixer window up here. Uh, sync offset is what we're looking at. So for today's video, we're talking about the audio input capture device. Um, and you can see for what I'm doing right now, there's a sync offset of 259 milliseconds. You would want to set that to zero before you do a recording so everything can be flattened out. Uh, if you happen to have a delay time on one of your videos, uh, you need to adjust that as well. So for me, I have a delay on my display capture. So in my sources, I'll go to display capture, right click, filters. And you can see under effects filters, I have a render delay um, just to make sure that everything's lining up. So again, if you happen to have all this, go ahead and turn it off. If you're brand new to OBS, you shouldn't have any of this, so you don't need to worry about it but just make sure that everything is set to zero for now. Once you have all that stuff turned off, you can go and start a recording. Uh, again, I'm recording right now, so that's why mine says stop, but make sure you start your recording. And then what you're gonna wanna do is turn your mixer on, uh, make sure that the microphone on stage is working uh, and everything else is muted, go up on stage and then clap in clear view of the camera. Uh, and right in front of the microphone so you can get a good recording of you clapping. We're gonna use this as our sync point. All right, so now we are in Reaper. Uh, I took the video file that was sent to me and just dropped it in the timeline. Reaper does not automatically open up the video window for you. So you're gonna need to go to view and video. And here it is. So to give you an idea of what we're working with, here's the video that was sent to me. And as you may have noticed, the clap was heard way before you actually see her clap. So again, here it is. All right, so let's figure out what the difference is between those two. It's very easy in Reaper. Um, first off, we're going to do Command-A to select all. There we go. 
Uh, and what you're going to do is something called tab the transient. You're just going to hit the tab button, and now we have moved our cursor right on to where that transient is, where the clap happens. This is why you want to have a clean audio recording so you can very clearly see that. Now you're just going to hit the letter S, and this is going to make a cut right where um, that is happening. Okay, so now we want to find where the video is actually going to be at. So we want to find the point where her hands uh, line up. So let's get this where we can see it a little bit better. I'm just going to move this cursor. <laughs> little false start there. Okay, and right where her hands connect... Let me zoom in a little bit more. And you want to zoom in as close as you can in the audio timeline. Zoom some more. And some more. And eventually we'll get to a point where you can't zoom anymore. We're almost there. Okay, a little bit more. Okay, and that's the farthest we can zoom. Great, okay. So once you have that set, again, hit the letter S. You'll make a little cut there. And this region to our left uh, has two cuts on it. One where the audio uh, happens and one where the video happens. So to find out the difference between those two, all we need to do is know the length of that region. We can find that out by clicking on this little I button right here. So click on the I. It gives us this media properties window. And you can see that the length of this uh, clip is one second, 369 milliseconds. Now obviously one second is 1,000 milliseconds. So in milliseconds, this is 1,369 milliseconds. Now while we're in Reaper, if we just want to test that, we can open up a delay time. So I'm just gonna type in the word time, go to the time adjustment delay, 1369. Okay. Back to the beginning. Okay, so. There you go. So 1369 is the magic number. We're done in Reaper now. We can go back to OBS. Just like we did earlier, you're gonna to wanna to go down to your audio mixer window, click on one of these little cog wheels, go to advanced audio properties. And then you'd wanna type in 1369 from your audio where it's coming in. So again, for me, that's the audio input capture device. Uh, you know, I didn't take the time to name it correctly, but for this church, it would be um, their uh, interface that they had connected. Once you do that, it'd be a smart idea just to do another test recording, and then hopefully everything will look like it synced up just like we did in Reaper, and you are done. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. Um, if you have any further questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And until next time, have a great week.